Hi, welcome to this session on how to prepare a project report using a proper referencing style and how to put the references and bibliography at the end of the uh, report. Uh, we tried a couple of times to um, get to the online meet but because of the time constraint it's not possible so I'm uh, just trying to make one uh, video and upload it so you guys can refer it again right so uh, here is the thing so let's begin first you need to go to google and search for a software called as zotero so what i do is i will also provide a link uh, for the software or the software itself in the google drive right so you can also check the google drive if you want or you can directly download it's a free software so we will download it for windows so it's about uh, 50 mb so let me just quickly install this so this is a referencing software where it will uh, help you in uh, building the reference list at the end of the project uh, so it's very easy I will just show you how easy it is so let me just quickly install this in few steps so let me skip to the installation part uh, so here it is just click finish okay so now uh, the software has been installed and now we will see uh, how to install a connector between uh, the software and your word processing software so in my case i'm using microsoft word so let's go to the connector page okay this one is for uh, google chrome and uh, we will later on see how to install for uh, microsoft word as well okay so zotero i think is already installed yeah it's installed so it's asking to remove from chrome so we will not click that so let's move on to the microsoft word and check the installation state of the zotero add-in yeah so if you observe here so you have got a new tab called zotero right so uh, this will automatically get installed while installing the software so you need not uh, go for uh, additional installation right so quick recap we have installed a software called uh, Zotero and we have added an add-on for Google Chrome I will show you uh, Google Chrome what is the use of that add-on so but before that let me just quickly give you uh, how referencing can be done easily uh, with the software along with the word processor let me go ahead and load few uh, journal papers into Zotero. So here I have my uh, papers. So let me quickly add few papers. So these journal papers are uh, from different sources like Google Scholar uh, or Science Direct or elsewhere. So a lot of other uh, different different resources. So what I do is I will just quickly select uh, the number of journals or you can put all the journals in one folder and select all and just you have to drag these into the software right into the referencing software so it will take some time to add all the papers uh, more the number of papers a little bit more time it takes so let it uh, complete the uploading process If you observe on the right hand side, it is giving uh, the information related to that particular uh, publication, whether it is journal, conference paper or uh, a book. So it gives, uh, let's say for example, the item type, it is a journal article and the title of the paper. So this is automatically the software is identifying the title and the type of the paper and the authors, right? So in today's uh, publication majority of them are indexing it very neatly so there are a lot of instructions for the authors to follow right so based on that uh, the 
referencing um, reference management software is actually uh, segregating all the data metadata that is there in the software so now the importing of all the files are over so I'll, let me just go ahead and close this so if you click on each of this paper uh, so you will get a, a brief description of what it is and uh, including the abstract right so DOI all all information will be here so you just have to check it if some information is missing so that you may have to add manually right so adding manually is very easy you can just click anywhere and you can edit the title and all uh, so if you feel that there is some difference in what you have imported and what it is showing right so if everything is uh, cool so let's move ahead and uh, go for Microsoft Word so this is my word file let me just save this as final project report so you may have to follow uh, the template that is being shared with you uh, from the coordinator right so you please follow the you know font sizing spacing all those things according to the template so uh, the purpose of this lecture is to directly give you an idea of how easy it is to refer uh, the references right so let's see an example of how easy it is to include the references in the text so let's start with the introduction let me just quickly increase the font size yeah so let's say there is some uh, sample text please be careful with the font size and all i am just showing it for your reference so sample text from a journal paper okay so i need to refer this uh, statement to a particular journal so what i need to do is Keep the cursor at the end of the statement and go to Zotero, add or edit citation. So here uh, we would prefer IEEE format. So you select that IEEE format. You just have to do it only once and select OK. So here I need to type the name of uh, the journal paper. So let's see. Yeah, the uh, drone, a general journal paper. So in this I will select OK. Let's say this particular paper and once it is selected you can just enter it so that paper is being uh, added here as a reference right so this is a citation now we will go and see how we can add the references so there is no manual work involved here once you understand the process it is very simple so here is the reference so I will again go to Zotero tab and there is an option called as add or edit bibliography I just have to click that so here is the first paper that is according to the IEEE format so you don't have to worry about uh, the formatting of the reference manually right so it does automatically so here is paper one and this is the uh, title and all the details related to the paper one in IEEE format that is automatically added into the reference section so let me go ahead and show you another way how you can add uh, the reference so let me go to the second paragraph let's say sample text to from another journal so i need to refer this with uh, another paper right so again keep the cursor at the end of the statement sentence go to zotero tab and add or edit citation so here let me just okay i will show you another way how you can add suppose you don't remember the title of the paper so you can just click ahead click on z and go to the classical view so it will show you what all the papers that you have added to the uh, reference management software so here you can create a uh, select uh, let's say uh, an internet of things assisted drone you just have to select that and click ok right so two things are happening here one is the citation has been added in the text portion and the second thing is a reference is automatically added now you can change means format the reference at later stage by going to home with selected uh, required font size and all those things so that can be done right but 
this is where uh, the reference management software will help you to correctly format the project report right so for example uh, okay two papers i have added there is one more paper that is missing that i need to add in between these two so let's see how it works middle paper so from a paper from another conference paper or journal paper okay so i need to add one more paper here so logically this must be my second paper and right now what is there referred as the second paper that must move to the third so let's see whether it works in that way or not so i will go to zotero add citation and i will type the title of the paper so let's see yeah so this paper from 2020 so if you observe the current reference paper what we have taken that is automatically given the number as two and the next one would have been it's been changed to three so automatically in the reference section also the numbering will change right so you don't have to worry about anything you add hundreds of pages uh, your report may be of hundreds of pages but in between wherever you add the reference so automatically zotero is going to take care of the numbering system so you don't have to worry about that so let's assume that there is one image as well so image and i need to add the figure so you have uh, details of the figure or image so i need to add reference at the end of here again follow the same procedure go to zotero add citation right select the paper okay so this paper uh, fortunately is the same as the, the reference number one so there is no change in the number so automatically this keeps on updating every time you add a new reference pa paper a journal or conference paper right so this as simple as that so finally you get all the references that you have used that is in ieee format right if any data is missing here please do not edit it here you go back to zotero edit there and then update uh, the references list in uh, Microsoft Word. Okay, so this is as simple as that. So again, if you have any doubt, please let me know uh, and we will end the session now.